testing. Okay, mic works. Uh, let me get this out of there. Okay, uh, good to go. Oh, uh, good morning. Well, uh, browsing the Twitch forums and I saw another good topic here by a guy named Caster Die. It's for anyone that is having a hard time gaining viewer. Oh, to be uh, to be fair, I this here will be somewhat rehearsed. I didn't read the entire topic. I didn't read the whole first post. Uh, I kind of skimmed along probably the first five or six posts underneath it and, until I realized uh, I better make a video on this. So here I am. But uh, what I I'll do what I always do on these. I'll uh, comment on this post, and I'll go down the rest of the thread, and I'll comment on everybody else's. Um, like always, I'm not trying to call out anybody, not trying to embarrass anybody or chew anybody out or any, et cetera, et cetera. But it just, I get I get more inspiration from uh, reading other people's posts. So, uh, with that, this is for anyone that is having a hard time gaining viewers or want to build a community. Uh, streaming is not about you. It is 100% about what you contribute to other people's lives. Um, well, to start with, I'm not per se having a hard time gaining viewers. I mean, I'm not. I'm not frustrated or anything like that. It just. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and highlight this whole thing here. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm not streaming for the sole purpose of building a community or anything like that. But we'll go highlight the second half here. Streaming is not about you. It is 100% about what you contribute to other people's lives. Um, but uh, with me, I'm including myself in this. I mean, streaming is as much about me as it is about anybody else that wants to come visit. So it with me, it's synergistic. I mean, I, if I was um, if I was trying to, if I was trying to do this, one hundred percent for the audience, I'd be miserable. And it just, I, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be fun at all. Um, plus, uh, if you, if you take that, if you take that on the flip side, uh, if I saw, if I was a streamer that had. You know, hey, song requester. Hey, help me, you know, help me, help me get 100 followers or something like that. Then I wouldn't be into that either. If somebody was totally 100, or if somebody was totally in 100% completely devoted to fan pleasing, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't be much into that. I'd want, you know, I'd want the streamer, I'd want the streamer to enjoy what he's doing. And not feel that he has to has to cater to me or anybody else. I mean, I want a, I'd want a streamer to want to stream, not feel like he has to. That's that's what I was trying to say. So, I'll, and then continuing on. Personality, entertainer, theorist, host, shoutcaster, creative, pundit, etc. And you have a job to do. Um, I don't consider streaming a job per se it's I, I again I stream because I want to stream not because I have to but as far as uh everything else though everything else though here you have the potential to be any or all of these but in, it's got but all of this is going to be in the high in the eye of the beholder in the eye of the viewer um one thing I did learn after streaming for about a year and a half, uh, people like your stream for different reasons. It, 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 I mean, I've never had a... I mean, I've had... I've had people come on my stream because they like the fact that I play vinyl records when playing Path of Exile. Uh, I have people... I have people jumping onto my stream just because I'm at, I'm at the bottom of the list and they're tired of the people at the top that are too popular. Um, they're... Or they'll they'll come on my stream because I play solo cell phone, solo cell phone and Path of Exile. They they come on my stream because uh, I play pinball arcade or I play a game that 
very few people play. So I mean, the reasons why they uh, the reasons why they come on my stream are many and varied. So it's it, it it's one of those where there's many reasons, not just one. So I'll I'll continue on. Your audience is dependent on the quality of connection and content they get from your platform. Now, in this, I also agree. You um, if you're if you're wanting to stream, you need decent quality. You don't you don't have to have 10,000 pixels and 500 frames per second or anything like that. It doesn't have to be super top notch. Um, I actually find that middle of the road is best. Um, kind of a side note that um. Oh, how, how can I put this? I have, in order for, um, oh, the quality of your content uh, should be, should match the quality of my computer. Yeah. There's a, there's a perfect saying for it. I don't know what it is, but if the quality, if the quality of your streams are too high, I'm probably not going to be able to watch it because I mean my computer may not be able to handle it. You know, my computer might be a potato or a lemon. Other people's might also be potatoes or lemons that may not be able to handle the graphics that you're putting out, as an example. So, but um, I'll just go ahead and continue because people consume the things they get something from, and it's and that while that is true. But there is, there is no one carbon stone reason why they do it. Like I said before, uh, many uh, different people come on my stream for different reasons. It, it isn't just one single reason to wool them all. Why do you consume the media? And, and again, it's just... Again, it's going back... To, that's going back to what I said. It isn't just going to... It could be many reasons. Not just one. Because you get something out of it. And again, because they're getting something out of it. And a lot of times it may not even be what you expect either. Again, I mean, there's been... I mean, there's been many times where... Where I'll... Sometimes uh, it influences uh, the kind of vinyl I buy. Like sometimes I'll... I, uh, one of the one of the bands whose records I got Metallica. I would, I'm just trying to you know round out my vinyl collection. You know, make it at less one sided. So I went ahead and you know bought some bought some Metallica, some things people would be familiar with. Uh, bought some name excuse me. Bought some Pink Floyd. Uh, not Dark Side of the Moon, The Wall, Animals, or Wish You Were Here. I mean, that that shit's fucking tired and old, man. I'm sick of hearing that. So yeah, it's I mean, it's hurting my ears now. You know, but you know, like Metall Metallica was definitely one. Led Zeppelin was another one. You know, I'm trying to round out the vinyl collection, and but eventually, some of the people that came on there, what they really liked about my uh, vinyl collection was the sheer variety. You know, because sometimes I would throw on. You know, sometimes I would throw on a Led Zeppelin four album, and then follow it up with Ty uh, Tchaikovsky's eighteen twelve overture. And uh, you know, I'm thinking I might actually, I might actually alienate some, you know, some of the viewers. But some of them, a lot of the ones that come on there actually enjoy that. You know, they love the variety. You know, where I'm, I'm saying, oh, oh God, oh, they don't leave. They actually like it. But I, it's something that I never expect. I've never expect that to happen. So, the something I'm highlighting here can be just about anything. Our end consumer and business are looking for your time, attention, your dollars, and see what to do. Like it can use again, going back to what I said. Basically, shit can the market research. Just go out and do it. Streaming is no different. If you love Fortnite, great, but you are probably just playing it for yourself. Nope. Again. And this part here, I kind of agree with as well. As I said back at the start of this video, streaming is, is as much for me as it is for anybody else who wants to watch. I mean, it's out there for them too. So, it, 
Again, if if, if it was just if I was playing it just for myself, I wouldn't even bother. I wouldn't even bother streaming to begin with. If it, I mean, if I wanted the art, if I didn't want an audience, I wouldn't be streaming at all. I mean, because not to mention streaming ain't cheap. I mean, gotta buy a webcam, microphone. Um, in my case, I had to spend. 500 bucks on a entry-level gaming computer because the old computer I had well, it was one of those old old potato Walmart computers that have an integrated graphics card. You couldn't stream shit with it. I mean too much going on just box it down. I mean hell, the PS4 I had at one point worked better than the uh, Walmart computer I had. So so I mean it you know, I wouldn't have spent all that money if I, if I didn't want to stream for, if, or if I didn't want an audience involved. You know, so I mean, it, getting the equipment and stuff isn't cheap. You know, I wouldn't have spent all that money if I didn't want an audience involved. All cameras on can hold to get an audience from. Interesting to watch. Uh, again. Again, I... At least with me, it's synergistic. It, I've said that before. I mean, I want... I gotta be able to enjoy the stream as much as uh, anybody else who wants to come by, too. It's, I wouldn't want to make it exclusively about the audience. Again, then I... I mean, there won't be much fun for me, then. And again, if uh, again if I saw a streamer do this, you know, if he's basically if he's trying to be a politician, probably the best way I, I can explain it, if he's, you know, if he's trying to be all statesman and political and whatnot, trying to be over friendly, I guess. Yeah, I mean that that's actually a turnoff for me. I want to I want to watch a streamer that's into it. Again, I'm not. Again, I can't really. That's something I really can't buy into exclusively for the audience. I mean, as mean and cynical as it might sound, again, I didn't spend five hundred plus dollars on streaming. I mean, oh, I'm not going to spend that kind of money just to make it exclusively about the audience. That's a whole lot of money to sink in for something like that. I mean, like I said, I got to enjoy it too. Um, there's, I could probably give a better explanation on this, but right now I'm really winging it. It, it's up here in my head somewhere. I just have to find it. Oh, why is Fortnite dominating the world? Um, I would also say some, uh, awesome marketing, plus, uh, it's, uh, Okay, given what little I know about Fortnite, I want to say, is that the first person shooter that was created by Blizzard? Or was that an Overwatch? I can't remember which one, but. Um, if this is anything like, uh, like music, you're never ever going to know if, what people like or what they don't like. Um, many of the, I don't, I can't, I don't, I can't think of any bands right off the top of my head, but many of the records they all put out, they're totally unaware that they got super popular. I mean, a, a band like, like Pink Floyd, for example, when they made Dark Side of the Moon, they had no idea that, they had no idea what they were making was going to be super legendary. They just went in and did it, you know. Um, so... Based on that, they probably had no clue whatsoever that uh, the game they were making was going to be something big and huge. Again, it's they're just wanting to put out a game, you know, you know, maybe you know, make a little money on the side while doing it. And, uh, I believe, and I believe Path of Exile, 
that was that's exactly what happened to them. Uh, the game Path of Exile, I believe, was made in New Zealand in somebody in some guy's garage. Just a game you wanted to put out. You know, just put it out there. Just let's see what they do with it. All of a sudden, it became super, super popular, but he never expected it. Sorry if I'm not sorry if I'm not making any sense on this, but it, these are just like I said. There's something up here in my head. I can't find it, but it would just unlock this whole thing right here. So I'm basically winging it, trying to find something that works and stick with it. Now start. Pick the descriptors like those in the first sense that you want to be known for. Okay, now this. Okay, now this is something here that definitely came from me. Um, probably one. I one thing is one thing. I'm not a. I'm not a misanthropist or anything like that. But I don't like following the herd. I don't like to do things that everybody else does. Um. I I made a video. I made a video about this. Like what? Are, why should people come to your stream or something like that? Or what makes your stream real quirky or something like that? But. Uh, one of the things that I did do that I that I do that I don't think anybody else ever does is you know I, I stream sitting on the floor this is this is my living room that I'm doing this in this is also it, it it's also I also watch TV with my computer um, I I read you know I read stuff on my computer you know I do a lot of things on it out here in the living room including streaming so but most streamers I watch, they stream in their computer room or in their bedroom. They're sitting behind a desk, whereas I'm sitting on the floor. And that, and, uh, one other thing that, uh, you know, but, um, uh, this one, uh, but again, this is, uh, hang on, I, I, I got it up here I'm trying to find it. But this is also, this is also from my end, too, out of necessity. Um, I used to, I used to play games in my bedroom, but the neighbor that lives below me, I live in an apartment complex, the neighbor that lives below me was sitting here banging on the ceiling because I'm doing too much bouncing around on top, you know, making too much noise, so I have to do it out here now. So again, it was out of necessity. Um, secondly, um, another thing I wanted to be known for was uh, playing vinyl records. Again, I can only think of maybe one other person that does that. All other streamers I know, they, you know, they, if they do play music at all, or outside of, outside of game music, it's usually stuff on Spotify. You know, or free music, or most of the time it's music I can't stand, like techno, dubstep, most rap, excuse me, most rap music, most pop music, you know, stuff that I probably hear at work every day mainstream auto-tune pop music so I thought I'd do something totally different by oh, I might actually play this record tonight then tonight you know playing playing vital records something I don't see very many people do but in this I kind of but this, I kind of agree with as well. Um, you know, because pretty much, because as I said before, I don't like following the herd. Everybody I've watched pretty much streams the same. Little tiny little differences here and there, but for the most part, nothing to make me go, wow, this stream is awesome. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I saw that. And your name is your reputation, your content, your brand, and your resume. Yes. So it looks like we're starting to be in agreement on here. When you shift your mindset, results should happen quicker. Um, again, we're going back to what I said at the start. I think streaming should be as much for you as it is for anybody else. Again, if up. If I was a viewer, and if I'm given any inkling that you're, if you're doing this solely to please the fans, I'd actually be turned off by that. I want somebody to stream because they want to, 
Not because they feel they have to. Um, in theory, yes. Yes, and like I said, like I said, there are too many people follow the herd. I don't, everybody pretty much streams the same. Uh, potentially, yes. But you can do something, you can probably do something that nobody else has done before. But it, it, to me, this is going to be a lot harder to pull off these days since everybody and their dogs pretty much streaming something these days. So, you know, you're really going to have to think outside the box. And it's a, it's a huge box. But, like I said at the start of the video, I'll go ahead and go down and look at all, or look at some of the comments. Have the issue with her when I like to watch streams at the same time I want to everyone I like to watch streams at the same time I want to watch them oh okay I see what he's saying I thought he was saying he streams at the same time everybody else does which I it's one of the small reasons why I don't really watch other streamers anymore because I'm too busy streaming myself Again, we're we're in partial disagreement here. I mean, I gotta be able to enjoy it too. Do it, just do it. All right, this I definitely agree with right here. This is one of those. This is a big turnoff with me right here. When you're I'd rather treat people like human beings and not statistics. People's time is a valuable resource. Again, yep. Complete strangers to help you, yep. Again, treat them like human beings, not statistics. Okay, I'm guessing uh I'm guessing Nasty Camper is in league with uh Cast or Die. Seems kinda dead to me. 108 followers. Are you saying <laughs> are you saying I'm a prostitute? Wait, I don't want to see this. Huh? I guess. I don't know. But it, it goes it goes back to what I said before. Um, at least I mean if I mean if, if music is anything to go by most of those most of those most of those legendary multi platinum records were basically made on accident. They weren't. They weren't expecting all that success. They just want to make music. Again, for these might be the reasons, but I, chances are they're probably not the reasons why the whoever it was that created Fortnite, you know, lost my words. Basically, Fortnite probably didn't expect expect all the success they got. Okay, this this I didn't know but I'm not on Twitch Reddit that much so it's, it's probably just him okay I kind of agree with caster die on this at least he's elaborating on it still gets minus three though Here 
grandma did. Never grow. Streamers will take their plateau. Uh, we agree on that. Everybody pretty much streams the same. Ask how and where to market, what hashtags to use, where to get hosts, get their name out there when they spend zero time learning, understand how to engage people, build community, uh, create content, build. Uh, I'm going to have to give this one some thought. Um, something else that I noticed too. Most of, most of the people that I see streaming are fairly young. They're fairly inexperienced with the world. Um, whereas, I'm not saying I'm world, I'm, I'm world worldly, I'm a world worthy traveler or anything like that. But uh, um, I guess one other advantage I probably have over a lot of other people crazy as it might sound is uh, I'm 46 years old, and um, I've been working in retail for at least half my life. I'd probably say probably about 30 years. So I've, I've been dealing with customers. I've been dealing with coworkers. I've been dealing with managers. So, you know, dealing with gossip, dealing with all of the normal human nature slash human condition type stuff. So, you know, whereas uh, most of the other streamers I've watched, they don't, first thing that comes to mind is they tend to speak slow. Or they're kind of, it's like they're trying to find the words. And it, it's hard, it's very hard for me to, hard for me to explain, but you can kind of, you kind of tell it's like they're, they're trying to, they're trying to find the right words, trying to find the right sentences. Um, there's been times where I've actually typed stuff down in chat trying to talk to a streamer, especially the younger ones, and they, they'll sit there confused and just, Oh, well, um, I, I guess you could do, do that. Um, you probably, uh, wanna, might wanna go, you might wanna Google that. Cause I, I don't really know, you know, stuff like that. I mean, <clears throat> there's a lot more streaming than just be entertaining and avoid Fortnite. I kind of agree with this, but more in my own way, just in my own my own perspective on that. Again, if I saw a streamer that was that just be entertaining, like giveaways, that was another that was another one I noticed. You know, was like donate to my stream and you can enter in a drawing to win a pair of headphones or something like that or. Dr. Dre headphones or something like that, you know, it, you know, it, that's a turnoff for me. Um, avoid Fortnite, I kind of agree with that too. You're going to, because I'm pretty sure if, uh, on one end, yeah, you, you, everybody's playing Fortnite. Um, and a lot of people are playing Path of Exile as well. That's another game I play usually in the evenings. I don't get that many views. I don't get that many visitors when I play, when I play Path of Exile because it's basically saturated. So there's that. And on the other hand, when I play, um, I'm trying to remember. I know I'm playing a playing pinball. When I play pinball arcade, there is next to no people on there. But uh, they're very, but uh. The few people that actually do get on there, get on there, are are on there th throughout almost the whole session. So, or no, 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 no. Pinball arcade's a wrong, wrong game for me to use. That's almost my happy medium right there. Um, I can't, I can't remember, can't remember the games, but I've seen, I played games that were Atari Vault. Just it's a, it's a compilation of all the Atari 2600 games that. I would have thought that, hey man, this guy's going old school, man. He's playing all the Atari 2600 games. 
no one ever shows up. No one. So, I guess uh, your answer would be somewhere in the middle. So, it, basically in this, again, there's there's more to it than Fortnite. Yeah, you, you probably want to avoid Fortnite. I mean, if if you're trying to get viewers or whatnot, getting people to come to your channel, you want to avoid Fortnite, but at the same time, you want to avoid games like like Atari Vault, too. Games where nobody ever shows up for. So, the truth is in the middle. Coming in, don't see me getting any new viewers. Yep. Yep. I get my... I mean, I get my regulars from time to time, too. Um, and again, they swing by for different reasons. I mean, some swing by because they like it when I play vinyl. Um, some swing by because they just, they just like to watch me play. Um, I think one of them, um, one's from the Ukraine, and she's basically a social butterfly. She she comes by my stream, hey, what's up, buddy? You know, and swings by, and then poof, disappears, and I think she goes to another stream and, you know, chats with them a little bit and poof, off she goes to another streamer too so I mean I get them as well This was also something else that uh, me and um, other Twitch users were also complaining about as well. Or here, let me uh, let me just highlight this part here. The top five streamers in this category have sixty percent of the viewers. Um, the way uh, the way Twitch works, it sorts the uh, stream list uh, in descending order of viewer count. The ones with the most viewers are at the top. The ones with the least are at the bottom. Um, I've said it, and I, some other people have said it too. There should be a search option, or there should be a there should be a sort option for the uh, for the streamers. You know, you can sort by most most viewers or least viewers or whatnot. I mean, that, if that option was in place, I think uh, the small streamers would uh would start getting bigger. And it, the whole thing would kind of, the playing field would be more even and everything would start balancing out more. Because uh, if you're at the bottom, huh, good luck. You're going to have to get lucky. Um, you can't blame him. Assuming that's not a typo. And assuming that's not a typo, again, different people visit your stream for different reasons. It isn't just going to be one single reason, so... Definitely agree with this. Again, as as somebody who's probably uh, who's held a job for at least thirty years out of a forty six year existence existence, I totally agree with this. Common sense is not so common. I've seen people do some stupid stuff in my lifetime. Everyone thinking, dude, like he's Twitch Yoda. Um, the only reason I can think of is because he's actually elaborating on this. Sometimes it... Hang on. Going up here.
I want to say this guy has got to be almost my age. Sometimes a person needs to hear the right thing at the right time and the right way in order for it to connect to them. Yes. And it's almost a, it's almost a variation of, sorry to sound like a broken record or what I said a while back, different people visit your stream for different reasons. Different people like you for different reasons. You, a lot of, again, you, it, everybody's, I mean, like I said earlier, everybody pretty much streams the same. When I, during the six month period, when I was uh, watching other streamers, I mean, I, I pretty much click, 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 click through a lot of the others. Some faster than others, especially when they have crappy music on. Pew, I'm gone, but yeah. And all the information is already out there. I have seen. I had an 11 of scenery. Yep. But the key word here is you have to say it in a different way than nobody else is saying it. So. Networking on. Okay, uh, people, people don't think you're better than them. Okay, I, whew, all that went over my head. And again, here's where opinions diverge. Here's where, uh, opinions diverge. Diverge, um, it's, it's not... It's not solely about the viewers, or at least with me, it's not totally about the viewers. It's about me as well. I mean, I want to be, I mean, I have to enjoy the stream as much as uh, the people that are watching. You got minus four on that one. Um, yeah, to be fair with this, though, this is a turnoff for me as well. When you have streamers that don't talk, like, at all. Like, they're just total dead silent. All you hear is them breathing. They have a, they got a microphone and everything. They can talk and do it, but nothing. So that, that's kind of a turnoff for me. It's like a waste of money right there. A waste of effort. I mean, I know, uh... This microphone here probably cost me a uh, thing. It cost me like thirty bucks. You, you bear your sweet ass. I'm talking into it. Um, the the um, entry level gaming computer that I have, uh, I paid a uh, five hundred bucks for. Uh, the new graphics card that I put in there just to be able to stream my games cost about two hundred dollars. That's a total of seven hundred bucks right there. You you bear you bear your sweet ass that uh, I'm gonna be streaming like crazy on it. I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it. I mean, things like this make me go, why? You know, why put, you know, why spend the money on it if you're not going to use it? And then there's this, there's this part here, too. I mean, Pasha kind of nailed it here, too. I mean, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not the most entertaining guy in the world either, especially when I'm right in the middle of playing a game. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to play and I'm trying to, trying to talk to whoever's talking to me. And, you know, trying to do both at the same time. It's hard as hell to pull off. Or I have to wait until I'm in town or something. But even then, I'm still, you know, I'm still in, still in game playing mode. I agree with this. I'm not really. I mean, you know, just I mean, just 
you know, talking out loud. This is a, I just remember this. This is an old piece of advice I learned a long time ago. Uh, before I continue on, okay, my mic's, my mic's working. I had to do a mic check. My mic has a habit of just <clears throat> shutting off. Just totally out of the blue. Um, but there's an old piece of advice when I first started streaming about a year and a half ago that I think would definitely apply here. Talk, talk, I mean, talk as though someone is there. Talk like there's somebody there. When you're streaming, even if the viewer, if you have a viewer count up, which I don't, it tends to throw me off. If, even if you have a viewer count of zero, talk as though someone is there. That, that definitely applies here. Yeah, that say something, you know. Streamer. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, yeah. Yeah, busking in case you don't know, is uh is when you bring your guitar and your guitar case out and out in the out in the street, like out downtown or something, out in a busy street and you just you just, or you, you take your case, you open it up in the hopes that people throw money into it. And you just, you know, you just, you play like you sing in hippie music or whatever it is you do, you hoping for people to like your stuff and throw money into it. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't even think about that. Whole time it's busking, yeah. But yeah, that I agree with this too. This is um, I'm not doing this for money. I mean, I have a full-time job that pays pretty much all my bills. So, on one end, uh, streaming is therapeutic for me since I hardly talk at work, I hardly talk at home, at home, I hardly talk to my family except visit my mom every so often. So, so it's therapeutic for me. You know, kind of a kind of my outlet to the outside world. You know, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this in the hopes of paying my bills or anything. Hell, for me to pull that off, I'd have to make at least fifteen hundred a month in donations. Uh, good luck with that. I'd probably have to do, an, I'd probably have to stream blowjobs or something like that just to make that kind of money. No, thank you. Auto Wolf nailed it here too. It's it, it goes back to what I said at the start of the sh at the start of this video. It's with me. It's synergistic. I got. I mean, I want to get enjoyment out of streaming as much as any anybody who wants to come hang out. So it's not one or the other with me. It's both. Um. And same thing here. We'll click that. And same thing here. Damn it, Middle East. This is like a 45-minute video. <laughs> I think I've gone on a little bit too long. I was only expect. I was only planning on being on here for like a half an hour or so. Whoops. But um. But yeah, I'm for the most part. I'm like this too. Um, actually. Actually, uh, I've had a uh, back when I was streaming Diablo 3. Weird as it might sound, but I was actually getting too many viewers. I've had like three or four people, three or four people just chatting nonstop in my uh, chat box. I'm like trying to play the game and watch the conversation at the same time. It's like help, you know. I can't. It's hard for me to be in five different places at once. So, but uh, uh my uh, my happy medium would be around. Probably three viewers, three people chatting at all. That probably my, that'd be my uh, comfort zone right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was. I kind of had this in the back of my mind too. He must be a, must be a marketing major or something. Very nice to run back from work. All right, this this I don't do. Um, very 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 seldom, if ever, do I stream right after I get home from work. Uh, cause when I get home from work, I'm usually too exhausted. So, no. So, that's another piece of advice I can give other people, too. You gotta be 100% into it. Like, you have to be... Personally, I would ra... I would rather, uh... I would rather, uh, somebody... Somebody stream for an hour. But be, uh, fully awake and aware of what they're doing than they're... Somebody stream for 24 hours and then part way in there... You know, saying, Miles just cut it off then. Okay, one of their dying channels as well. Okay, it, it's starting to like they're having conversations among themselves. So, wait, this is a Fortnite shameless plug. I kind of see that as well. So. Savvy at marketing. Okay, so. Ninja has it going on for sure. Okay, so it. It looks like they're just having conversations amongst themselves, so. And as I'm already kind of running late on this. Totally and forget, completely forgot about this. I could have set this egg timer 30 minutes and then just could have just cut it off right then and there. Whoops. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut it down here. As I said before, I was only expecting to be on like maybe like a half an hour or so. But here it's, uh, here it's uh, over 15 minutes. So I'll go ahead and cut it off right here. Um, but aside from that, hey, thanks for watching my video, man. Uh, if you, especially if you made it this far. Uh, appreciate it, and see you next time. Take care.